Hi, I'm Samantha. Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel if you already know who I am. I recently announced I was pregnant. Right now I am 21 weeks. So I figured I would do a little pregnancy Q&A to answer some of you guys' questions. So I'm going to get right into it. So one of the main questions that people were asking um, was if we know the gender, and we do know the gender. I posted a short on YouTube a little while ago. I will give you time to click off this video and watch it if you would like to watch the reveal that way. Um, but if you don't care about that and you just want to know the gender, then I'm going to tell you in three, two, one, we are having a baby girl. Um, I also got some questions asking how I found out I was pregnant and how I told my husband. And I have two other videos up on my channel, one of me finding out I was pregnant and one of me telling Gray. So go ahead and watch those videos if you're interested in that process. We tried for a few months before getting pregnant, but there was something about that time that made me think that that was going to be the time. Um, I know a lot of people try not to get pregnant if they think that their baby might be born around Christmas because they want to avoid having to deal with a baby that might have a Christmas birthday, but I just kind of figured if it's meant to happen that it'll happen, and it did. So we didn't really care about trying to avoid Christmas or anything. Her due date's December 21st, so there is a possibility she could be born on Christmas. So what are your cravings? Um, they don't always stay the same, um, change kind of week to week, but one thing that has been pretty consistent and very strange is eggs. I don't really like eggs that much. Uh, I have no idea where this craving came from. I just, in early pregnancy, I would wake up and be starving in the morning, just immediately when I woke up, and I always felt like eating just a full-on breakfast with, like, eggs and bacon. And I just don't really like eggs, but I've continued to want eggs, and... I think I've eaten more eggs during this pregnancy than I've probably eaten in like the past 10 years of my life. Obviously I have eggs in things, I eat that all the time, but like just plain eggs like you would have for breakfast, I don't, I don't normally do that. Um, pickles, I eat them very frequently, I have like one a day, and I used to do that all the time in elementary school because pickles were like my favorite food, um, but I haven't really done that recently until I got pregnant, so. Peanut butter's pretty big. I've been making a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's what we have around the house, but also I just always feel like peanut butter. There's been a few days when I just haven't felt so great, like there's been cramps or, you know, for whatever reason, and um, on those days I usually just eat like plain buttered noodles. <laughs> Potatoes is a big one, basically in all forms. Like I could eat tater tots, fries, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes. Literally anything, um, potato. <laughs> meat is another one that I really craved right at the beginning of my pregnancy. Not as much anymore, but still sometimes. Um, I eat meat. I'm definitely not a vegetarian, but, um, I never really liked meat that much. I never really wanted to eat it that much. And then everything else is just kind of regular stuff that I normally eat, so nothing really weird there. <laughs> Are you taking bump progress pictures? I am taking bump progress pictures, but sometimes I forget, so hopefully I'll have enough pictures by the end of this pregnancy to make some sort of progression video for you guys. How is your oncologist monitoring you during pregnancy? So I actually have a video planned out. Um, it'll probably be out within the next week or so um, about how pregnancy is going to affect my cancer plan. If you're new here, um, I had stage 4 breast cancer. So, um, the short answer to this question is he's really not monitoring me. I'm not doing much uh, while I'm pregnant, but um, if you have more questions than that, that hopefully that video will answer it when it comes out. What is your chance of cancer returning during pregnancy? Definitely not zero. I had a few questions asking about pregnancy and cancer treatment. I'm asking, isn't pregnancy risky to do after cancer treatment? And um, yes and no, I mean, you really just have to talk to your doctor. I, again, will be talking all about that kind of stuff in that other video I just talked about. What is morning sickness like? Do you have any weird cravings? I already answered the cravings question, so I'll focus on the morning sickness. Um, to me, it wasn't that bad, but you do have to take that with a grain of salt because I was very used to cancer meds. Um, I basically felt nauseous every single day for two years straight on the hormone therapy and targeted therapy that I was on. 
So um, I was very used to feeling nauseous and in a lot of ways it was very similar. You know, some days you have good days and some days you have days where you feel absolutely awful and you just wanna be in bed all day. And you know, I kinda had been dealing with that for two whole years. So it really wasn't worse than that and I also really only had morning sickness um, for a few weeks. I think it was the worst between like eight and 10 weeks, but still it wasn't as bad as um, the side effects of my cancer treatment. So it was similar to the nausea I felt in my cancer meds, but it was also different. Um, pregnancy morning sickness nausea kind of felt like I needed to have something in my stomach all the time or my stomach was going to feel nauseous. Um, but I couldn't put too much in my stomach because if I put too much in my stomach, then it would make me nauseous. Kind of on the cancer meds, it kind of felt like I never really wanted to eat, but I had to because I knew that I had to eat to be like a normal functioning person. Um, with the pregnancy morning sickness, I actually did feel like I needed to eat just kind of plain things um, with not a lot of flavor. <laughs> Whenever it was bad, like some some days everything was fine and I could just eat normally, but some days, um, yeah, I was just like eating crackers. I ate a lot of plain potato chips too. <laughs> but overall, morning sickness just kind of felt a lot nicer because I knew that it was for such a great reason. Um, when you know that you are feeling sick because you're going to have a baby, it just feels so much nicer and like it's worth it than when you feel sick for two years and you don't know if the medicine is even going to help you at all um, because you already don't have evidence of cancer in your body um, and it kind of feels like you're doing it for no reason but you could be doing it for a reason but you have no way of knowing. I didn't have as many of the mental side effects from it that I did on the cancer meds because uh, the cancer meds were just like in my head all the time and with pregnancy nausea I was like oh this is great I'm having a baby like so it was, it was like positive nausea. <laughs> Do you imagine a fruit themed nursery? This is from my friend that has an Animal Crossing room that is completely fruit themed and she likes fruit. I don't imagine a fruit themed nursery um, but I don't really imagine a nursery at all right now <laughs> honestly. We've been so busy with moving um, that we're just trying to get settled here and I haven't really thought about baby products yet or what the nursery is gonna look like um, at all. And I've been putting it off because there's just so many products out there and it's hard to do the research. <laughs> Will you breastfeed? I am planning on breastfeeding, um, but I'm not gonna be like one of those people that gets like really worked up about it if it's not working out and I need to supplement with formula or I need to not breastfeed because I'm I'm kind of I'm hoping it'll work and I'm hoping everything will go great but I'm a little bit worried about my left breast specifically because it had the lumpectomies and all that radiation done to it and something that might be TMI is that my right breast is growing like crazy it's probably like two sizes bigger than my left breast is right now. And I don't know if my left one has grown at all since getting pregnant. So to me, I'm wondering, does that mean that I'm not gonna really be able to breastfeed out of my left breast? And maybe the right one is trying to make up for it or, and who knows if it'll be enough or if we'll have to supplement or whatever. Basically, when you look up, is this gonna work after cancer treatment? It says maybe and maybe not. Like, maybe your milk ducts um, didn't get damaged, maybe some did, some didn't. Some places say, like, you have a better chance of it working five years after radiation, it's gonna be three years after radiation, so we'll see what happens, and whatever happens, it'll be fine. <laughs> Are you more nervous or excited to be parents? I think we're definitely both nervous and excited. Um, right now, I'd probably say I'm more excited. I probably will start to get a little bit more nervous as it gets closer but right now I'm just super excited. Gray's probably slightly more nervous than me, but not really, he's also just super excited. I tend to put off getting nervous until the last minute, so I feel like we'll get to the end, like the very end of the pregnancy and I'll be freaking out and Gray will have to calm me down and um, Gray will be more gradual. <laughs> That's my prediction. Any names for boy or girl picked out? So you know it's a girl. Gray and I actually both 
agree on boy names a lot more than we agree on girl names. We've gone back and forth on lots of girl names and we kind of are starting to narrow it down. I don't think that we want to make a decision until she's born, until we see her. I probably won't be announcing the names uh, that we like, so sorry about that because I've definitely had people ask me um, to like make a video about the names that we like. Probably not going to do that just because it, we're not going to decide on the name until after she's born. I just feel like I have to see her, you know, um, to see if she looks like the name. <laughs> Congrats, you will be amazing sweet parents. Are you going to get the baby genetic testing? We had this huge blood test around nine weeks that told us all kinds of things, um, chromosomal abnormalities, and that's also when we found out the gender. Everything from that blood work looked great. I know some people are against the genetic testing, but I'm not exactly sure why. Um, we just figured, you know, it's non-invasive, they're just taking my blood, and our insurance will completely cover it for free, so like, why not? I think that's probably what that question is referring to, but just in case you're talking about cancer genetic testing, I definitely at some point will want to check her for the check two mutation because I have it and it, there is a possibility that I can pass that down to her. Um, Gray does not have to have that gene, it's just she'll either get it or she won't. It does say that it has an increase in chance in colon cancer but it's not um, as big as the risk for breast cancer. The risk for breast cancer also isn't super high so it's not like we really need to check it like right away and probably the fact that I got breast cancer when I was 22 is just going to immediately send her into testing whether or not she has the mutation or not. It's probably not going to make a difference for her. She's still going to start getting screened way earlier than a normal person would start getting screened for breast cancer. <laughs> and there's just not a lot of information out there about the mutation, so I don't think I don't think there's a super need to get her tested immediately, but eventually it might be good information to know. And you know, as we learn more and more about genetics, um, there could be more information out there about that specific gene. What were your parents' reactions? Do you have a name yet? No name yet. So both of our sets of parents had good reactions. Um, they're both very excited. For my parents, uh, we waited until eight weeks. We had an uh, ultrasound appointment right at eight weeks to just check everything. Uh, we measured the heartbeat and everything. Um, so we went to that appointment and everything looked good. We had the ultrasound pictures and we drove to my parents' house then. And basically I said, hey mom, do you wanna see our pictures? And the place had like texted them to me on my phone. So I just like showed her my phone and she looked at them and of course she knew what they were and she got excited and you know sh then she sh let my dad see <laughs> uh, and then my grandmother happened to be coming over like 10 minutes later so we ended up telling her also on that same day and then for Gray's parents I think we told them two days later um, we were heading out of town so we met them for lunch on our way out of town and it was kind of funny because we were sitting at the table and Gray had uh, Gray's sister was also with us and he had some, said something to his dad about why don't you get your daughter this or why don't something about your daughter and um, Gray's dad said why don't you get your own daughter and then I said oh we're working on it but then <laughs> that would have been like the perfect segue but then the waiter came to the table to fill up the water glasses and then right after that happened Gray's dad left and went to the bathroom so me and Gray were just kind of sitting there like left that on the table and like didn't have anything to follow it up because we were waiting for him to get back. <laughs> and so then when his dad got back, Greg kind of like recapped and was like, hey, remember when we just said this? Um, here are the pictures and we showed them the ultrasound pictures too. They also were very happy. How many kids do you want? That's a good question. We were just talking about this the other day that like our family doctor just asked us this. We've always said three. I've said three for a really long time and Gray just like immediately agreed with me. Um, but I can see it being more or less. Definitely more than one is the answer um, because I don't want her to be an only child. I mean that's not my preference, like nothing against only children. Um, but yeah, probably at least two and then maybe a third after that and then I can totally see myself wanting to go for a fourth. <laughs> but I don't want to like set that in stone because 
you know, I don't know what it's like to be a parent, so things could change. Do you feel prepared to be a mother? Um, that kind of depends on what you mean. <laughs> like, do I feel prepared like I'm ready at this point in my life to have a kid? I think yes. I think we're in a position to be able to care for a baby and I'm not too worried about it. Um, if you mean like, do I know what all the products are I need for my baby? I don't. <laughs> Is it overwhelming or just exciting to be going through two big life changes at once? So yeah, for me, it's like two life changes. Um, we moved to Alaska, which is a pretty big move. We used to live in Virginia and then now I'm pregnant. For Gray, it's kind of like three because he's starting his first job after law school. It is definitely overwhelming at times. I think the move was more overwhelming, honestly. There were just so many things that we needed to get in place to move and it was like a long road trip. I feel so much more relaxed now that that's done, but maybe that's just because now I feel like I can just focus on the pregnancy and not about the move anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is, it's overwhelming and it's exciting. I don't know which one's more. <laughs> what are you most excited to teach your child about life as they grow up? That's a good question. Um, I think one of the things I definitely want to teach her is to just be kind. Um, and then also, she'll probably get more of this from Gray, but to just stick up for what you believe in and not to just do what everyone else is doing. One of the things I really love about Gray is we met when we were in college and he had people that just didn't like him. But the reason that he had people that he that didn't like him was because he was himself and he wasn't afraid to you know, say his opinions about things, didn't just change his mind about things just because, you know, other people wanted him to. Honestly, I'm way happier in life when I stick to what I believe and don't try to change for other people. And so I really hope that she can learn that. Um, and I want her to be able to get along with other people as well. So. I guess maybe just taking some of the best things about my personality and Grace's personality and hopefully just making her into a good person. <laughs> Both families are excited to have a grandchild. Are they disappointed you are in Alaska now? We knew we were moving to Alaska before we knew we were pregnant. So when we told them we that we were pregnant, they were like, oh my gosh, you're going to be in Alaska. So it was definitely kind of like, a, oh no, like, when are we going to see this baby? My parents are actually going to be coming up to Alaska for two months, December and January. They're staying at like an Airbnb and they'll be around to help us out through the end of my pregnancy and through the beginning of our child's life. And that'll be really awesome. Also, we're going back to Virginia in March. So any of our friends that want to see her that will be around then can see her in March. It's not the first grandchild on my side. Um, my sister has two kids. I guess it's technically not the first grandchild on Gray's side either because Gray's brother's wife is also pregnant and she is due a little bit before me in November. So our daughter will have a cousin really close in age, which will be really fun. They're both gonna be girls. It'll be really cool. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. I'll probably do another Q&A way later on in the pregnancy when it gets closer. Um, sorry if I couldn't get to your question. I could not get to all of them, but thank you so much for asking them. And I hope that this answered a good amount of questions. <laughs> Subscribe if you want. I have a lot of content planned for both pregnancy related videos and cancer related videos. So that'll be coming up soon. Also check out my vlog channel with my husband if you're more into that style of video. And yeah, that's all. Bye.